Okay, so in this video, I'm going to create a simple cat command using assembly on Linux. And I'm going to use the NASM assembler, and this is going to be on Linux x64. So I'm going to start by running the global command. And I'm going to expose with this my entry point, which is going to be called underscore start. Afterwards, I'm going to start the text section with section text. So from here on, the code is actually going to start. And then I'm going to start my label here, so start. So I'm going to start by opening the file, and I'm going to use the open system call for this. So this will be with, I'm going to start with moving into rex the system call number I want to call. In this case, it's going to be 2. So this is the open system call number on x64 Linux. Afterwards, into rdi, I'm going to pass the file name I want to open. So this is actually going to come from the arguments. So I'm going to use for this rsp plus 16, and I'm going to dereference this. So the stack actually contains the arguments passed into the program. So yeah, so if you actually use the stack pointer and you go 16 bytes ahead, you're going to have access to the first argument passed into the program. But it's just going to be a pointer, so you're going to have to dereference this to actually get the address of the first of the string of the first argument. The reason we have to jump 16 from RSP is because RSP is going to have the argument count or RxC, so the number of arguments passed into the program, and RSP plus 8 is going to have the program name. So every one of these items is 8 bytes. That's why I have to jump 16 bytes to get to the actual first argument passed. Afterwards, I'm going to pass 0 into the flags. So this will just open the file read only. And I'm going to pass 0 into the mode as well, because I'm not creating any file. This, not, this is not relevant for this. And then I'm going to make the syscall by just running syscall. OK, so afterwards, the system call has returned the file descriptor in RAX. So now I can just move into the second operation I want to do. And now I want to actually take the contents from the file and stream them into the std out. So I'm going to use for this the send file system call. And I'm going to start by actually passing into the second argument, which is the input file descriptor. So this is going to be RSI. I'm going to pass into this rex. And this will basically pass the file descriptor that was open right over here. It's going to pass it into the input file of the next call I'm going to make, which is send file. Afterwards, I'm going to specify the output. So the output is RDI. And this will go into SCD out. So SCD out is basically just number one, file descriptor number one. Then I'm going to move into REX, the system call number I want to call, in this case 40. So send file is going to be in 40. I'm going to specify the offset. So the offset is going to be just zero. I'm just going to start from the beginning. And I'm going to pass also the count. So count is going to be, let's say, 256. So this cat command will not support any files that are larger than 256 bytes. Just make it simple. Then I'm going to call system call again, so syscall. And this will basically take the contents from the file open with the previous call, and it will output them into std out. So, the, so unless you actually pipe this to something else, it will just output this into the console. To make this program simple, I'm not going to exit nicely. So I'll just have an infinite loop right over here. So this program will not exit. Now I'm going to save this. And I'm going to assemble this with NASM command. I'm going to pass in ELF64 to make this format x64. And then I'm going to link it. And now if we run it, and let's pass in, for example, the program we just wrote. You can see that it works nicely. We get the contents of the file. Subscribe for more programming videos, and thanks for watching.